What's going on everybody, it's Sean here and I'm back today to give you guys a review of the Nike Blazer Mid 77 Vintage in the white and black colorway. Today's video is sponsored by Rose Gold and Black. So they're an Australian based men's jewelry and accessory company and they produce some very wearable, very versatile and very high quality product. So I'm not too big of a jewelry or accessory guy myself, but I do have to admit a lot of their products actually really catch my eye. In fact, this month marks their two year anniversary of Rose Gold and Black. So specifically for April, they're doing 25% off the entire site, but for my viewers only through the link below, you guys will be able to get 40% off. So be sure to check them out. The link is down below. And once again, this 40% off sale just for my viewers only is only for the month of April. So jumping back to the shoes, this is your Nike Blazer Mid Silhouette, but Nike has given this more of a retro treatment. Previous to this, Nike dropped this shoe in a green, red, and blue colorway as well. And all four have done very well on the market. This white and black one specifically is also very sought after because not only is it a very versatile and clean colorway, but it also reminds people a lot of the Slam Jam collab on the Blazers that had that upside down swoosh. So if you guys missed out on that pair, this one is a much cheaper alternative. So these Blazer mids retail for a price of 100 US dollars or 135 Canadian dollars. And the official colorway for this shoe is white, black, and sail. As you take a deep dive into the shoe, for the most part, the entire upper is constructed using this smooth white leather. So to be perfectly honest with you guys, the quality of this leather is okay, it's not the greatest, but it's kind of what you expect for a shoe at this price point. Covering both the front toe cap and running down the lateral side, we have this hit of hairy grey suede. Stitched onto the midfoot of both sides of the shoe, we have this very large black Nike swoosh, and to the touch, this sort of feels like Nubuck. On the back of the shoe, we have the Nike word mark printed onto the leather, and this is done in the speckled black finish. In terms of laces, so nothing special here, these are just your standard flat white laces, but then underneath this, we have your tongue. So this is a very vintage looking tongue. It's made out of foam, but covered in nylon. At the very top, we have this vintage Nike tag stitched on, and then on the edges of the tongue, you can see how it's sort of unfinished, exposing the foam within. So the inner liner of these blazer mids is also lined in that same white leather that's found on the exterior. And then as I pull out the insole, so we have your white colored insole with the Nike swoosh on the heel in black. So the upper of these blazer mids sits atop this sail or off-white colored midsole. Covering the toe box, we have this additional layer which gives you added reinforcement. And then as I turn these over to the bottom, so here we have your standard blazer outsole. This is entirely done in gum rubber with this herringbone traction pattern running from heel to toe. So for those of you guys wondering how do these fit, so my feet measures as a true size 10, slightly on the wider side, and I picked these up in a size 10. Overall, they fit a little bit more on the narrow side, but I would still recommend going true to size. For comparison's sake, I'm also a size 10 in other Nike models like the Presto, certain versions of the Air Max 1 and 90, along with most of my Air Jordans. From a comfort standpoint, so these aren't the most comfortable shoes on the market. Being a shoe that was created in the 70s, as you can expect, there's pretty much non-existent cushioning. The majority of the comfort that you feel is coming from the insole, so that's honestly not saying too much. However, for just an everyday casual shoe, these will be okay, and I was also pleasantly surprised by the softness of the leather on the upper. So with all that put aside, now let me lace up these blazers and show you guys how these look on feet. For a very reasonable price point of 100 US or 135 Canadian dollars, in my opinion, despite not being the most comfortable sneaker on the market, I still think this is very worth its price. Yes, the materials are not the best, but the versatility of this shoe, the retro vibes that you get from this shoe, and I'll say it, the similarities to the Slam Jam collab makes this shoe in my books a winner. So let me know in the comment section down below how you guys feel about these Blazer Mid 77 Vintages. If you guys like this video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't. Be sure to follow me on Instagram at sgo8, check out my Twitter at sean.go, and visit my website at seangoca Before we end this video, one final thank you goes out to the sponsor for today's video, Rose Gold and Black. 
So once again, April is their anniversary month. So be sure to cop what you need this month because you are going to be getting 40% off through my link only. So until next time, thank you guys so much for tuning in. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and I will catch you guys in the next one.